Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. Let's see what's going on today. Tomorrow's weather is going to be another crisp and clear day. Well, that's good. I'm glad we're autumn's okay. Life on the farm advanced tips. Okay, what do we got? We've got a uh, barn, feeding bin, animals, stuff, things. Yes. Okay, when feeding your animals inside the barn, be sure to put exactly one piece of water in each bin. If you put in too much, the leftovers will just disappear, so there's no point trying to overfeed. Good to know. It's Tuesday. You know what that means? Knives and forks is ready for tasty time. I now rule. We'll be judging the cooking battle and tasting what our two delectable contestants make. Are the, the contestants delectable? That's maybe concerning if you're a, a contestant on the show. So they're going to use uh, their stuff, you know? I'm not going to we'll focus too much on the details. They're making some dumplings. Okay, they're exactly the same. They both, they tied. What do we learn though? Moon dumplings. That still sound like they're a thing. Maybe they're good. Uh, the Fluffy Festival is tomorrow. Okay. And we can't uh, take part in that, but that's all right. Moon dumplings. So we just need uh, one dango flower with seasoning salt. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to make it quite yet. I don't really need to. Um, I, again, I don't see that. The f I, is that even worth anything, the fishbone? Okay, I was going to stack my little fish. I was going to just keep them, but what's the point? Nope, Moogie. Good morning, Hodge. We're holding our annual Fluffy Festival tomorrow. Any adult sheep, alpaca, or angora rabbit can participate as long as they're not pregnant. I hope Magic can participate next year, but come watch if you like. I'll start at 10 a.m. sharp at Rose Plaza. Hope to see you there tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's sell this stuff. And this. New products at General Store. Preserved flour. Okay, so now we can actually buy those at the general store. Well, that's good to know. Hey, my dudes. Okay. And then my uh, green friend. Okay, there you go. So now hopefully they, they deal with it all. Oh, uh, you stayed up too late, Timothy. Falling asleep in the field. On how you feel, buddy. Okay, let's go and get our stuff here and we'll go deal with the hens. We'll go see the moo. Okay. Some apples and oranges. Very nice. All right. Let's go and visit our friends in here. Okay. So I was, he was saying magic can take part next year. That didn't make any sense to me. Hey, Venus. Yeah, I don't... I, didn't get the sense they could. Okay, let's go up and see how Moo Town is doing. Yeah, you guys get watering like bananas. Hopefully they stay focused this time. How's it going here? Alright, cutie. And there we go. Oh, are we not able to... Oh, I don't know, maybe I did not let Cutie out? I don't even know. Um, okay, let's go now and ring the bell. Maybe I didn't get Cutie out. Maybe I didn't get Cutie out in time. I don't even know. Okay, I want to go down to the building shop. Let's go see. It's Tuesday. I also don't remember what day <laughs> we can go do this at. Let's go see what Gods has got going on. What Gods has got? What do you got? 11 to 4, right, okay. Well, let's go do our rounds over here early and then we'll come back. Hopefully we can manage this in time. Whoa, everybody's here. How's it going, Ron? Huh, well, hey, fancy seeing you here. Okay, now does she like a flower? Thanks. I don't know, hard to say. Potpourri, right now Mama's watching the store and Rick is feeding the chickens. Okay, do you like a red flower? A blue flower, thanks. They both seem like, ah, I could, that's nice, but I could do without. Harvest Goddess, meanwhile, is like, oh my gosh, this is the best. And then everyone else feels kind of awkward and sad because they weren't as excited as she was about it. You know, it's the Harvest, God, Harvest Goddess brings that to the table. I was about to give you a gift, Brandon. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to get like the highest hearts with Brandon before everybody else, simply by having awkward conversations with him. You know how it is. Me and Brandon, we're tight. 
we talk about our feelings. <laughs> Hello. Uh, all right, nothing else. I'm, okay, Brandon, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. Let's go see. Is Jennifer here? Hey, Jennifer. There you go. You're very welcome. How is it going? Oh, hello, Hodge. Basking in nature splendor today? I am. You know how it is. You know how I do. I am always basking in nature splendor. So hold it. Harvest cost is like one from the, there. You know what? I don't even know. Maybe I'm making levels with Jennifer. I don't even know what uh, what the deal is. She doesn't hate me, I guess. I think that's what I'm running with. Okay, let's go now and go see gods. I'm very eager to go spend all my money. I don't know why. I'm just like, let's race down there. Let's get this done. I just want to see... I mostly just want to see what's in store for us. Now, I definitely feel like the second you're in this game, I'm going to play this game a little bit differently. It does feel like... Uh, Yo, what can I do for you? Let's buy some stuff, my friend. Okay. The big cabinet. The big fridge. These are all like 5G items. Wow. Can store more than the basic fridge. Oh, a grape. Oh, no, we already have a grape tree, don't we? We have an apple, grape, and orange. Allows you to check the time. We can't currently? Okay, now, uh, we the coop expands to fit eight animals. The, the barn expands to fit... We don't even have enough animals. I think we need to go buy animals is what we're at. And then the rest of this seems very unnecessary. So we've got the big house. I mean, like, I feel like we did okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, officer. We call the the fluffy festival because alpacas and angora rabbits can enter too. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to them about the animal situation on my place. I feel like I might need to get in on this now. Oh, hey Jennifer, what you doing here? Hey Moogie. Uh, I forgot what you sell. Okay, there we go. So a calf is five grand. A sheepy. Oh my gosh, look at these. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a sheep. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna give it a name. Oh my goodness. I didn't anticipate this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go with the names I was using in, uh, uh, in uh, Staxel, Cumulus. And then we'll get an alpaca. Can I? Yes, I can. Uh, we're gonna call this one Nimbus. There we go. These were suggested to us uh, for Staxel names for animals, but they're the best names for fluffy animals. Name them after clouds. Okay, so we got three out of eight that we're able to raise. And then I don't need to... So you can make the adults pregnant. I see. So that, I guess, helps us save cash because then we don't have to buy a calf. Yeah, you're saving two grand by the, using the breeding kit. I don't... That's... I, I, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Raising sheep. When raising sheep, be for sure to feed them every day. Pick up fodder from the dispenser, put it in their feeding bin. Don't fodder, put fodder in the bins for each sheep. Put fodder in the bins for each sheep. If you forget to feed them, they won't grow. You can also give your sheep their fodder directly. It's important to show their animals love as you raise them. Stand near the sheep and press the confirm button to talk to them. Equip a brush to groom them. To shear them, use the clippers and use them on your sheep. Any sheep with a fully grown coat can be sheared. The more you, uh, okay, the more your sheep like you, the higher the quality of the wool. Sheep can be bred simply by standing next to one with a fully grown coat and using the sheep breeding kit. Once bred, your sheep will have a lamb in a few weeks' time. The sheep breeding kit can be bought at the Yodel Ranch. Once bred, feed the sheep by putting it in its fodder in the breeding bin. Once bred, feed the sheep by putting its fodder, oh, okay, you put the fodder in the breeding bin. In about three weeks, a lamb will be born. Lambs born in a farm will grow to like you more quickly than sheep that are bought. Bring the bell outside your barn to send your sheep out to pasture. Leave them in the pasture for several hours and they will eat any fully grown grass provided you plant some. At 8 p.m. the sheep in the, out in the pasture will automatically return to the barn. So it seems like they do the same thing. They'll eat the grasses outside. Uh, do I, I, I'm assuming I don't need to feed them on top of that. At 8 p.m. they come back in. Um, it is interesting. Like... Uh, if you forget to feed them, they won't go, grow. But, I mean, if they're going out and eating naturally... Oh, oh raise, okay, I'm assuming raising alpacas were the same. <laughs> Can I buy uh, kits and goods? Can I buy clippers from you? No. Somebody else sells those. Uh, that's probably Saibara. 
Hey Jennifer, I visited the vineyard the other day and chatted with Mana. I think the sun went down before she stopped to breathe once. Yeah, you know, it's exciting. That guess is what it is. Okay, let's go to Hentown over here. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> Jennifer is here as well. Lilia. Oh, how lovely. Thank you again. Jenny. Hmm. My, my, if it isn't Hodge. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> Hello, Hodge. Hmm. I'm, uh, ah, I'm here to deliver a sa sa sachet of potpourri to Miss Lilia. I made them, made, make them with flowers I found in the mountains and dried. They are primarily for my personal satisfaction, but I share them with others from time to time. I think that this blend will help transport Miss Lilia to the mountains in spirit, if not in body. Jenny really does blend the best potpourri. Everything she makes smells so wonderful. I feel like an excitable little girl every time I hear she's bringing another sachet by. Oh, I do so love potpourri, if you couldn't guess from my daughter's name. Actually, I was thinking of bringing some potpourri to you later, Hodge. I specifically tailor each blend I make to the recipient's tastes. May it transport you somewhere peaceful. Wow. That's that's pretty nice. Thank you. I told you this one is better. Popery. No, it isn't. Uh oh. Oh dear, they're at it again. And right when we have guests too. I'm so very sorry. They're really very sweet children, but somehow they always find a way to butt heads with one another. Oh. Yet open disagreement is a sign that they trust one another enough to express their true feelings. Of course it isn't good to let one's temper take control and say hurtful things or heaven forbid, use violence. But I can see no longer a new danger with those two. Their arguments are an expression of their affection for one another. I must admit, I have felt a small pang of jealousy. If only I too had a partner with whom I could argue so passionately. Dot dot dot. Looking at Rick and Bobri, it is plain that they were both raised with care and affection. Thanks in no small part to a wonderful and loving mother, I'm sure. Oh Jenny, that was so sweet. Thank you. You know, hearing you say that makes me feel so much better. For someone who marches to the beat of their own drum as much as you do, Jenny, you make some very astute observations. You're not just an idiot that lives in a tent. I think that's what she's trying to say. Like, <laughs> that seemed like a backhanded compliment. I am glad Jennifer is just like, mm, I will accept such things. I like to think it is precisely for that reason that I can, actually. Perhaps it is why I've always cultivated a few more free and unrestrained worldview. Oh, Rick, why do you always have to? Me? You're the... They may be arguing because they love each other, but I still think I'm going to put a stop to it. I'm really sorry. This should only take a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Arguing may be a sign of how much they care for each other, but I can't com I can't commend them for doing it to the extent that it worries and annoys their mother. Hmm? You seem surprised by how much I observe the people around me. <laughs> to be honest, I generally take pains not to interfere with the affairs of others. However, Miss Lilia seemed rather vexed, so I thought to make a special exception for her. Wow, you're, you aren't a total space case. Wow, you have a great heart. <laughs> wow, you aren't a total space case. No, I'm not going to say that. That's not nice. You have a great heart. Oh, I'm flattered that you would think so, but I'm afraid that I cannot. I'm not a particularly kind person at heart. Oh. I simply prioritize harmony, that's all, in order to maintain a peaceful coexistence with others. Oh, she's a pragmatist. It is critical to focus on the merits and talents of everyone around you rather than their faults. After all, you must first give love and respect if you want to receive it in turn. That goes not just for human beings, but for animals and even nature itself. I'm simply putting that concept into practice. That is all. Goodness, listen to me. Here I am talking your ear off. My apologies. For some reason, talking with you seems to loosen my tongue and I end up prattling on for hours. <laughs> it's been like three minutes. Well, I'm very flattered by your compliment. It's odd. For some reason, being with you puts me at ease. Perhaps our souls are resonating on a similar wavelength. <laughs> I'm not sure how that laugh was. Was it like, <laughs> By the way, Miss Lilia certainly is taking some time to return. Perhaps, oh, perhaps I will do something. Wow. That was a whole thing. Oh my gosh. How's it going, Sasha? Lily's husband is a good man, but when, when an idea gets in his head, he becomes fixated on it. Where has he gotten to? My mind, is there something I can help you with? Uh, let's see what you got here. Right, okay, and then, so you got more chickens. I've got, I can only raise four, so I need to get, okay, and I, wow, okay, I've got to get a better, a bigger coop. All right, so that'll be the thing I guess I work on. Let's get a bigger pen happening. And then let's go see sidebar here, dude. Well, this is a, an interesting, oh, no, I don't want to upgrade. Oh, I mean, I do, but I don't. How is that sickle? Oh, wow. Yeah. That, well, no, I don't know that I do need that. 
Look at the golden, and then mithril. Mithril. Wow. Mythic. Uh, how about the hoe? Yeah, you know, the hoe would be nice. So that one would do four. Oh, it goes in... Oh, look at that. Mythic hoe. That's really... I'm holding out for that. And then the fishing rod here. Um, I'm up to golden... I don't even have the ability to get the golden one yet. So I gotta work on that. I gotta get the, do more fishing to get the golden. That's fine. Uh, clippers. Okay, so let's get the clippers. We're gonna be broke, but that's cool. I'm totally fine with that. Nice. Okay, I feel good. I think we've uh, accomplished most of what we were setting out to do. Hey, Timothy. Alright, how are they doing down here? Oh my gosh. You, are you guys using a shotgun to water things? Like, focus, buddy. Focus. Oh my goodness. I can't even. It's, they're bananas. Now, oh my, oh, they are here. Oh, hey, Cumulus. Okay, let's give them some, uh, let's brush you. Give me your brush. Oh yeah, you need to brush up. Perfect, so you can just day one brush them up. Let's, let's ring the bell. I'm going to see if they come out. Are they going to come? Or are they sleeping now? I have no idea if, they, if you ring it like too late. Does that, oh, here they are. You're looking good, Cumulus. Where's Nimbus? There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a happy alpaca. All right. I feel good about all of that. Um, and then I don't know that I feel as good about whatever's happening here. This is crazy town. I mean, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two, watering a couple of rows myself now. So then if I want to, I can just level up. Level up. Heal up. No. Regain my fatigue whatever words um those yeah it's interesting i don't know how they like miss weird spots i guess that's what we got to check on okay they, they're coming this way did they get oh they got all the rest oh they they may have actually gotten to it okay now this this whole thing the sachet of i don't know what am i supposed to do with this do i eat this like uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna go fishing, I think, a little bit here. Let's do that. Alright. So I feel like we've gotten going okay here. <laughs> Once again, it's... Oh! Oh, Zach's here to pick up the stuff. That, okay, he didn't wreck my fishing. Oh, that's good. Whoa! Massive trout. Biggest one yet. Look at that. Um... I, yeah, I do feel like uh, we're getting a handle on things now, both in terms of um, overall oh, fishbone scope of things, and I don't know, I, yeah, I feel like a little bit more settled in, but I still do feel like it's very difficult to actually get everything you want to get done in a day done. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm barely able to touch on some stuff, like, like the fishing and things I'm wanting to, like, level up on. We're just nibbling out, but maybe that's how it's supposed to feel. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. We just threw in a little one. Now that's the other one. I wonder for it by, by just throwing in like a one. Are you going to get different fish than if you throw in a two and a three? And are you supposed to do different ones each season? Or do you always go for maximum and then that'll catch it and below? I have no idea. A dark sleeper. See, I haven't seen that yet. So I don't know. Because I can do, what is it? This does up to level 3? Or is it, maybe it is. I don't even know. Massive Trout? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, it does up to level 3. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can definitely get a few. It's, I guess, I. it feels like it's going faster with this rod. But, I, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens when we finally level this thing up and we get a gold rod. That's the thing, I should probably check how far we are along. I, I feel like it's one of those things where you just got to keep doing it repeatedly, and then we'll get there. Come on. I gotta say, without there being like a, you know, a dedicated museum to place things into, and uh, I do feel less um, 
stressed out about the idea of, well, it's not even stress. I, I feel less like fixated on the idea of worrying about getting all the specific things and all that, which I suppose is maybe the point. Like if you're, if you find those things onerous, then it, why, like this isn't a game about that. So, but it feels weird. I feels like we've advanced quite far into this game and yet I feels like I've barely played it. It feels like I barely scratched the surface, which is a weird thing. Um, I mean, I know we've played it a bunch, but it still feels like I have so far to go. Which I think in a lot of the other um, crafting farming games, I tend to feel less uh, adept at them <laughs> at, at this point. But that could be also just a factor of having played more of them now as a thing. Okay, we'll get this one more fish and then we're going to head to bed. This one's taking forever. There we go. Got a lot of boots. Somebody is really needing their boots. Okay, let's go and... Uh, oh. Um, and I will keep... I'll sell those chestnuts. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is... Uh, no, I don't want to take them out. I want to put them in. I'm just going to chuck fish in here for the sake of it. Again, I don't know that we're we're dying for the money at this point, so I'm not going to worry too much. Okay, and then this potpourri thing. Potpourri from Jennifer, apparently she changes mix of flowers depending on who she gives it to. Smells nice. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, is it a... Is it a usable item? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, interest. I so you can set it down. Oh no, it, it, it weird. It's just set it on the floor. Can I set it over here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we can, and then we can examine it. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's nice. That seems like a good place to put it. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye bye. Examine it on the left side when you want to go to sleep. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that we could only do that one side. Well, well. Gotta be, it's safety first, right? See you then. Bye-bye.